Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is a long-awaited human hair crochet hair install. Now, you guys who've been watching me for three years know for the last three years, every single hair that I've tried on this channel has been synthetic hair. But I made a video about a year and a half ago asking, did you guys want to see me review a human hair? Now that video where I'm asking you if you want to see me try a human hair has over 57,000 views 57,000 of you guys watch me not install a hair but actually talk about not installing a hair that's crazy I'm not doing anything I'm not reviewing anything in that video and 57,000 of you guys watched it so I said why not actually try a hair and see how many people actually tune into that so today's hair is the naked crochet hair a hundred percent human hair pre-loop type it is from the shake and go line of shake and go reached out to me they said hey we want to send you a hair i was like okay uh you send me a hair but i'm gonna keep it real that's what i do on this channel so this is a install video of course as usual i will do my review in my normal review format where i will wear the hair out i'm not installing it and taking it out tomorrow oh no 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 i'm gonna wear this hair out i'm also going to try try to invisible knot this hair at the top or try to install it in a way where you can't see the loops and I will show you what the loops look like in this video the loops are very very obvious as you will see in this video so I will try to find a way to hide those obvious loops if you guys want to see me tip to create that look just keep watching now you guys saw from the intro and of course the title what hair I'm using and you guys can see what braid pattern I have going on right now the same standard straight back braid pattern that I always wear as you notice my braids though are a little bit smaller I thought for this particular style a smaller braid pattern would be better than maybe a more you know chunkier braid pattern maybe using eight to nine braids I figured using a, upwards of 12 13 14 braids would be a better option for this style now once you open the package you will see the hair is on a string it's on a little strand the elastic loop is around that strand you would just take the hair off of that strand and this is what one of the hair look like off of the strand and this is the elastic loop that I'm talking about every single hair has this elastic loop attached to it from my knowledge or my recollection or my reasoning on why they have this loop here is to make the hair easier to attach human hair is very very soft without this it would not stay a lot of people ask me can you have human hair without this elastic I'm trying to figure that out myself. I think the elastic makes it easier, but of course, in the future, there could be an option where you can have human hair stay in your head as well as not have this elastic loop. So as you can see for the back of my hair where I'm getting started at, I am applying the hair as I would any other hair. I'm not doing anything special to conceal the elastic bands. It is the back of my hair so nobody really will see those elastic bands. So what I'm doing is putting the crochet needle through the braid, attaching the hair to the needle, pulling the hair and the needle through the braid, and then just knotting it. I did only knot this hair once throughout the back, meaning I did not do three, four knots. With this elastic loop, it's not really necessary to knot the hair multiple times. Now, one of the pros of this whole elastic band method, I would say, is it does take the guesswork out of sizing. You know, with most hair, you have to split sometimes, or maybe you don't have to split, but then you have to pick precise sizing and all that that comes with typical kind of bulk synthetic braiding hair. With this elastic loop, though, it does kind of have it already outlined for you, and you don't really have to, again, knot the hair several times like you would a normal hair. Although there are some cons with this elastic loop. Don't think it's all rainbows and sunshines from what I'm saying just know that that is one of the pros that I would say with the install of this hair it was easier and simpler with that elastic band if I did not say in the intro this hair is 16 inches and this hair does of course feel like human hair bundles that's exactly what it feels like it's the softest hair that I've ever tried because it's the first ever human hair that I tried uh, it met my expectations in terms of the feel of it I didn't think that it was going to be anything of a rougher texture especially coming off of the Harlem 125 soft dread hair as my last hair that hair is very rough this is a complete opposite hair it's very 
soft now you guys will see of course in my review video if I think that is actually a thing I love personally of course make sure you guys are tuned in locked in and subscribe to my channel because that video will come out a week after this video but again uh, this hair is 16 inches it's loose deep and it is extremely extremely soft now this is how far one pack got me now as I move on to pack number two I know I'm gonna get several several questions on how long it took me to install this hair now it's gonna be a little bit unique for me now as I was doing the back and I was installing it the way I was installing it in the back with the knots kind of showing no kind of regard for the visibility of them it was flying through I was going super fast I was making record time as I was installing it but then as I moved to the front and I met with the challenges that I was met with in terms of trying to hide those elastic bands which I'll get into into a minute um yeah it, it took me a while it took me quite quite some time but if you are going to somebody who knows how to hide the knots or if not even hiding those elastic bands is important to you it's going to take you drastically a lot less time than it took me now me myself again I had to take some pauses to kind of figure out how I wanted to install the hair in the front but again as I was going through the back zooming through so this is what three packs will get you. So now the front of my hair. Now this is where we were met with the challenges because this is the point where I am trying to hide those elastic bands. Now, everybody pause this video right now and go check out Beauty Kim Braid's install of the Saga human hair. Has the same elastic bands. That is the video I'll watch and that was what I was trying to mirror in this video. Of course, Beauty Kim Braid is the epitome of everything when it comes to crochet hair on this YouTube platform. I googled the night before that I was trying to install this hair. I googled different ways to kind of install this hair. Now everybody installed a hair similar to this, a human hair crochet with elastic bands in a fashion that showed the elastic bands. And I was like, what is up with people? Why do people not care about these elastic bands? I don't want them to show. But of course, my girl Beauty Can Braid had one of the only videos on this platform where it shows how she installed this hair with the elastic bands and hid them beautifully. Now, I watched that video so many times. I'm literally watching it as I'm installing this hair, trying to mirror what she did. Now mine, I would say, was a 75% fail, 25% success. And what I mean is I was able to do what she did in some spots and in some spots it failed completely. Now, what she did when she installed the hair in the front and when she was trying to hide those knots is she would loop the hair through like normal, then put a space in between the elastic. So spread the elastic band apart from each other and then pull the hair through again and conceal that knot. Now, I might not be explaining it as well as she did it again if you guys did not do what I said and pause the video as you should have and checked out her video I'm gonna go ahead and do you a favor and I'm going to link it up above right now that is exactly the method that I was trying to mirror in this video again in some spots it worked out very well in some spots it did not work out very well that's the thing about me this is a trial and error process it doesn't make it any easier that one she has the ability to kind of see what she's doing overhead whereas me I'm the model and the installer in this case so it's a lot harder to see exactly what I'm doing from overhead as well as the fact that I'm trying to film this on camera so I'm the photographer I'm the model and I'm also the installer so it made it a little bit more difficult on me and that's why my success rate was as low as it was but I'm sure that even if all the elements were the case even if I was doing this on another person's head I'm sure that I would probably only still have a 50 50 success rate in uh, attempting her method also braid pattern questions i know i'm going to get them same exact braid pattern that was used in the malaysian curl video if you guys have any questions about how i braid my hair it's nothing real fancy and again it's never going to be anything fancy my braids are always you know in this same fashion so I am back and this is the finished look. This is what it is giving you. Gonna do kind of a turnaround so you can kind of see. 
no scissors have touched this hair neither has a product so you're seeing it in its raw 16 inch format it's been an ordeal now you watch this install video with the music underneath the happy-go-lucky times it ain't been no happy-go-lucky times over here now let me be clear this hair I understand why it has the elasticness on it I get why you can't install human hair without it human hair is super soft it's hard to stay you need an element to make it stay therefore you have this knot however hiding that knot has been the issue now you guys know I love my hair to look realistic you can easily install it with this knot and not care about it and let the knot show and let people see that you have a knot in your hair that looks like this like a little rubber band for me that's not what I want that's not where I thrive and you guys know from my crochet encyclopedia video that I like my hair to look as realistic as possible I know sometimes with crochet hair you're not fooling nobody but my goal is to at least attempt to fool somebody I'm not out here one of those people who doesn't care and wants the knots to show and lets the knots show no I want it to look like it's physically growing out of my scalp that is my goal with my crochet hair I want you to be able to get up on me you will have to really dig to know it's crochet and with this hair trying to make it look that way and trying to achieve that look is kind of the issue that you're going to run into now beauty can braids video is a video i heavily reference throughout this video only because she's amazing she's the best she is the crochet hair queen so when i googled how to install a human hair crochet hair and make it look realistic of course her video is going to come up several other videos came up and i watched those too but they still left it where the knot was showing the knot was showing i don't want that that's not what i thrive in so she made a video where she was showing you how to hide the knot she made it look so easy and for the most part it might have been a little bit easier if I'm not one filming it on camera two being the model myself and three being the installer she kind of has the luxury where she is installing it on another person so you can kind of see a bird's eye view of what she's doing for me I am the model and I am the installer so even with me going off camera for about an hour itself trying to make it look as realistic as possible it was about 50 50 50 percent of the time I was able to achieve the look she had no problem then 50% of the time sometimes it messed up for some odd reason I'm like why is it messing up I'm not understanding what the issue is here but again as the title suggests is it impossible to make it look realistic can you make it look realistic yes you can you're just gonna have to put a lot of effort in to make it look realistic if you go to a stylist and she says point blank period I can't make it look realistic or I can't do what that person did I would not a hundred percent blame them because it's not something that's easily done now you you guys can see this side is the side that I probably did the best on but then on this side I'm not as proud of my work on this side honestly there are some places where you can see the elastic knot and that's why I'm lucky that I wear a left side part most of the time because I can just easily cover that up with no issues but again if you're somebody who wants that versatility you might have to really invest and really try and really find somebody who can really work with human hair now as I said in the video don't have a lot on the specs as I'm filming this video right now chicken go it was awesome to send me this hair but this hair won't be released until early November and as I'm filming this it's October so I don't have the full price point on this but if I'm gauging off of what shaking go price their saga human hair that they released about a year and a half ago it was about 35 40 maybe even 45 dollars a pack so again pretty expensive I did use six packs of this hair although I think you can get away with five I was playing around with that six pack I was trying to experiment I was cutting it in half maybe seeing if human hair itself can work without having this elastic found out that it could and you know this and that so I think if you're not playing around with the hair you can get away with a strong five packs of this hair and be a-okay so as per usual I'm gonna do a full review on this hair this has been just my install of the hair and true Lee LaVon fashion there will be a review video of this hair coming up but if you are following my channel you guys know it won't be tomorrow won't be the next week and it'll probably be a few weeks after that because I wear my hairs for as long as I possibly can I'm not somebody who comes on here and installs the hair and says oh this looks so nice and it's only been one day I'm somebody who strives to show you how the hair works for a realistic person who is realistically wearing the hair but if you want to lock in and you want to see whenever I upload that review video make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't 
don't miss it make sure you have that bell on too so you definitely definitely won't miss that video make sure you're following me on instagram at leo 89 for extra measures so you can see my content in real time make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it we want all the love and support over here on this channel and i will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye Tell me what you want to know. I go give you all that more. Bad man, I feel your flow.